Hi, you guys. Well, most of you know I'm not a doctor giving you medical advice. I always share on my channel my experiences with things. If I'm advertising something, I'll tell you. As you notice from my channel, if you've been watching me a long time, I don't advertise much. And that isn't because I don't get offers. I get loads of offers. But number one, I require that I try anything I promote on my channel or I won't do it. Number one. Number two, I have a minimum requirement of how much something is that I'll promote. I'm not wasting your time with rinky dink crap. You can go to Bethany Frankel for that. Shade. If someone sends me like an entire skincare kit that's worth $1,500 and they want me to do an analysis of it, okay. But I'm not going to be doing like some $200 cream that I know can't possibly do anything for you. You know what I mean? Just because it's 200 bucks and it's whatever. It just isn't my thing. Do you know what I mean? But that's only in regards to advertising and promotion. If I find something on my own that I'm not promoting from that perspective, then I will absolutely tell you about it, right? Like I'm going to do with my hair thing. That's not promotional. I figured out a bunch of stuff and I'm going to share it with you. I'm telling you, man, the hair is happening. I'm so happy. I'm going to do a video about that, how I stopped my hair loss through like trial and error, <laughs> finally. And look how good it looks. And I just bleached it. So that's like saying a lot because usually that's really damaging to the hair. And I use a box. <laughs> yeah, those days of the fancy hairstylist thing is behind me. <laughs> on the box hair girl now. Woo! All right. So uh, I wanted to do an Ozempic video follow up. This is part two of my original Ozempic video. I went in to talk to my doctor about all the scary stuff that's being said. I want to tell you what I was told. And I also want to share with you how to wean off Ozempic and other things. And I'm going to take my shot because some of you asked me to do it on camera. So here I go. So I first started out by asking my doctor, I'm at like week eight, what should I be taking? How much should I go up? I don't wanna damage any of my organs as I've heard so many people complaining about the things coming up with pancreatitis and kidney and U UTI infections and all this stuff. I said, I just really wanna do this so carefully and conservatively. So she said to me, this is the recommended dose we do for uh, a five milligram 1M vial, okay? So this is a weekly dose, once a week. I'll say it again. This is a once a week injection recommendation for units. So she said I should take week one through four, uh, 0 0.25 milligrams, five units, weekly. Then week five through eight, 0 0.5 milligrams, 10 units weekly. Week nine through 12, one milligram, 20 units weekly. Week 13 through 16, 1.7 milligrams, 35 units weekly. And week 17 through 20, 2.4 milligrams or 50 units weekly. Now, as I mentioned on my last video, I did it slightly different than this sheet. Um, week one and two, I did the five units exactly as it says here on the sheet, but then on week three, four, five, six, and seven, I was at the 10 unit amount that you see, you know, she has week five through eight. So I upped that a little sooner than what she's recommending here. And now I am about to go to 12 units. I'm in week nine. Um, she says do 20 units. I'm not ready to go that high and I don't need to go that high because my appetite is still under control. So I don't have to go up to 20 units. I'm good. I can wait. And you don't want to have to up your dose too quickly because you run out of product, which is expensive, A, and B, you build up an immunity over time to it. So you don't want to have to do that too quickly, obviously. Like anything, you want it to work at the lowest dose you can, right? Think about it like from the perspective of like when you go out with your girlfriends and you haven't drank for a while and it takes one drink because you haven't been out in a while versus like 
four or five, if you're partying a lot, like every day, you build up a tolerance to the alcohol. So now you're having to take in like five drinks to feel anything, if that's what you're after, right? So it's similar. You want to kind of stay in that, you know, you want to be as conservative as works. Because obviously, if you're hungry all the time, then it's, you got to up your dose. He told me that it was fine for me to go from 10 to 12 now, and then I could do next week 15 if I wanted to, or stay at 12 one more week and then go up to 15 the following week. So I'm sort of playing it by air to see how I feel about it. So now I'm going to show you me doing my shot at the 12 that I said, and uh, you're going to see me do it because some of you asked. I don't know why, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna go now into HD film and I'm gonna, it's gonna make me age about 10 years, but here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I had to put some pants on. <laughs> you know, I got to do these videos like half dressed, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So uh, here I go. I got my little kit. I'm gonna take out the alcohol swab, I'm gonna get needles. And by the way, not only do you have to keep this refrigerated, as I mentioned in the previous video, but you also have to keep it in a dark place. So I didn't know that. I'm so glad I kept it in the bag. That's why they put the sticker over the whole bottle because they actually wanna keep it dark. So that was good. I'm, uh... Okay, so here I go, ready? Um, there's something on the end of that. I don't like that. We don't want anything on the end of the needle. Okay. So here we go. I go straight in. I take the cap off. Do, 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 do. I feel like I should have music, like circus music. And then I'm going to go up to 12. Let's see, there's 10, am I at 12? I can't say, no, it's 20, that's too much. Okay, all right, now I'm at 12, I think that's 12. Don't wanna to do too much, cause then you could get nauseous, you know? I should have brought a table over here. Put this over here. Okay, oh, there's a lot of action happening here. I've never been good at multitasking, never. All right, after this, we'll get into how to wean off it. Oh, I should have thought this through better. All right, ready? Okay, I think that's in. <laughs> I'm back. All right, um, so I did 12 there. I still have a few more weeks of product. The product actually lasted me a lot longer than I thought. Now, my doctor said to me, you really need to be conscious that you're doing weight training because if you don't, you're not gonna lose the weight like you want to because you need the muscle to burn the calories. You don't wanna just be starving yourself. So I was like, all right, that sounds like hell, but I will go back to weight training again. Okay, so now you have seen my injection process. <laughs> What'd you think? All right. So um, I have played Terry Dubrow's warning message on a few of my different shows that, that he did after examining Lisa Marie Presley's autopsy report. And he lumped in there that she may have been taking Ozempic and or a semaglutide like this, and that that may have also aggravated her intestinal issue that ended up killing her from uh, like a heart issue that was like, a, I guess, a result of her intestine dying. Wow. Anyway, um, I have played that. I went to my doctor. I shared it with my doctor. She said to me that... that it is a low percentage of people that suffer from this type of variable. And I've shown no indicators of any of the symptoms. So she said, 
as long as you pay attention and are aware of your body and you know, you know what to look for and you're taking care of yourself, you shouldn't be you know, doing surgeries with this semaglutide. You shouldn't be dr drinking excessively or taking diuretics with semaglutide. Bad idea. You should be eating right on semaglutide. Things that are good for you like fish or, you know, light chicken, maybe steak once a week, vegetables. You shouldn't use it as an opportunity to hurt your body. You should listen to your body. If it's not agreeing with it, don't do it. If it is agreeing with it, okay. For me, I haven't really had any side effects except a little indigestion, but frankly, I think I've always had that. So, you know, it hasn't, I haven't had that, but I also dosed up very, very slowly. And maybe I haven't had the dramatic weight loss that some people have had. I think I've only lost 11 pounds in eight weeks. I mean, that's still a lot, but you know what I mean by some people's standards. Um, I'm not in my goal weight. I have another six pounds to go to my goal weight, which would be still heavier than I was when I was on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So that tells you how fat I am. <laughs> so my med spa hopes that eventually you could get off semaglutide uh, or you could cycle on and off it, which is what some people do. So they go on it, they lose their weight, they get to their goal weight, they try to maintain it with good, healthy habits. And then, you know, if they gain, let's say, five or 10 pounds back, they try to get it off. But if they can't, then in a few months, they can come back, go back on semaglutide again get rid of that five to 10 pounds, and then try again. And it's sort of a cyclic thing. And hopefully eventually you get your eating habits, your fasting, your good for you food to the right amount that you can actually maintain the weight healthy without semaglutide. This is the weaning protocol that my doctor talks about when you're ready to come off your semaglutide jump start. So my place also offers these Fit 3D scans, which is amazing. And I saw mine, I couldn't believe. I looked like a square and then I started to get my hourglass shape back after seven weeks and I can't wait to do it again in a month to see you know, my body back to normal again. It really is a huge difference for me, this 10 pounds. Maybe I'll show it to you, it's kind of embarrassing, but... <laughs> If it motivates you guys, I'll do it. All right, so I am now gonna tell you when it's time to wean yourself off semaglutide based on what my med spa says. My med spa says that if you maintain your goal weight for two months straight, then you can start to wean yourself off semaglutide. Now let's just say that you surpass your goal weight and you're now like, uh-oh, I'm sort of five pounds underweight and I still have product left and this and that, what do I do? Well, you slowly decrease your dose. Instead of going up, you go down. And this also is the case if you want to come off the semaglutide. So you go from, let's say you're doing, I don't know, like I did today. Let's say you never go higher than 12 or 13, right? And you're like, okay, I'm there. So then you cut your dose in half by month. So I would say, all right, well, I did 12, maybe I would go down to eight or something the following month. So I would be like, okay, I'll do 12 for this week, next week, and then the week after I'm gonna go to you know, eight, half, or something around half, and then to zero. Then you should wait for three months, working out, eating right, doing all those things, and if you've experienced a weight gain and you want to go back on semaglutide, then you go in and have another consultation with your provider or med spa to say, I'd like to go back on it now, I've gained X, I've been doing all the right things, and I'm still gaining the weight, and then they'll help you because you have a metabolism issue, as most women you know, start to experience over 40, right? And some women's metabolism, like, on the stops, you know what I'm saying? I think mine is so slow that I literally can't eat more than 11 or 1200 calories a day without gaining weight. 
That's how slow my metabolism is. Anyway, I hope this helps people that was wondering about this. And I will do a final video when I'm going through the weaning process to tell you what I'm experiencing. Um, I have been uh, having a little bit of fatigue, which is a side effect. Some people love it because they sleep better and they struggle with sleep as they get older. Um, what I've enjoyed about it is that semaglutide makes me feel balanced. I don't have these incredible crashes I used to have all the time, ups and downs. I guess it was my sugar, who knew? I think I'm gonna do a playlist for these types of videos, okay? Anyway, I hope this helped you guys. That's really why I'm doing it. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Let's do some gossip on the next one.